Hello everyone. In previous lecture, we have seen the introduction of Jig and Fixture. In that, we have seen the definition of the Jig and Fixture, their differences. Also, we have seen the uses of Jigs and Fixture and the considerations while designing Jigs and Fixture. And along with that, we have seen the elements of Jig and Fixture that is body, locating devices, clamping devices, bushings. And along with that, we have seen the types of jigs that is template jig, plate tape jig, channel jig, box type jig, open type jig, leaf jig, angle plate jig, diameter jig. Now, today we will see the further that is the locating devices. So, the location refers to the establishment of a desired relationship between the workpiece and the jigs or fixture corrections of location directly influence the accuracy of the finished product determination of the locating points and clamping of the workpiece serve to restrict movement of the component in any direction while setting it in a particular pre-decided position relative to the jig before deciding the locating points it is advisable to find out the all possible degrees of freedom of the workpiece okay that means this locating device is what it does it restricts the movement of the workpiece related to the jig now further we will see the principles or rules of locating in jigs and fixture so for accurate machining the workpiece is to be placed and held in correct position and orientation in the fixture or jig which is again appropriately located and fixed with respect to the cutting tool and the machine tool it has to be assured that the blank once fixed or clamped does not move at all because many times if it moves the scratches may occur on that body any solid body have may have maximum 12 degrees of freedom okay that is the translation motions in x y z direction that is plus minus and the rotational motion that is clockwise and anti-clockwise motion which is shown in this figure that is the possible degrees of freedom of a solid body so it has a maximum 12 degrees of freedom okay so 12 degree that is 3 was axis x y z plus minus 6 and the remaining is xyz axis rotational that is clockwise and anti-clockwise so total 12 degrees of freedom is there so by properly locating supporting and clamping the blank it's all degrees of freedom are arrested to be it are all the degrees of freedom of freedom are to be arrested as you can see over here in this you can see the workpiece is located on the locating pins and if you see by pro by properly locating and supporting it's all degrees all degrees of freedoms are arrested okay so there is no any translation movement or rotational movement occurs over here The three adjacent locating surfaces of the blank or workpiece are resting point 3, 2 and 1 principle. Okay, so 3, 2 and 1 principle. Which prevent 9 degrees of freedom. The rest 3 degrees of freedom are arrested by 3 external forces usually provided directly by clamping. Some of such forces may be attained by friction. One or more surfaces, preferably machined and or drilled or bored holes are to be taken for reference. The reference should be significant and important features based on which most of the dimensions are laid down. Locating should be easy, quick and accurate. In case of locating pin, the pins and their mountings and contact points should be strong, rigid and 
hard a minimum of 3 point must be used to locate a horizontal flat surface the locating pins should be as far apart as feasible the minimum use minimum locating points and use mutually perpendicular planes okay now let us see the different locators so here you can see six point location of a rectangular block here you can see three at the bottom one in other view you can see one on the left side and two on the behind so six points location of a rectangular block over here now let us see the flat locator it is the next it is a type of locator flat locators are used for location of flat machine surface of the component three different examples which can be served as a general principle of location are prescribed here for flat locators these examples are illustrated in a figure okay a flat uh, a flat surface locator can be used as shown in first figure in this in this case an undercut is provided you can see over here at the corner the undercut and undercut is provided at the bottom where two perpendicular surfaces interacts each other this is made for soft clearance the middle figure shows flat headed button type locator there is no need to make undercut for soft clearance here you can see flat uh, headed button type locator is there the button can be adjusted to decide very fine location of the workpiece so it can be adjusted there can be a vertical button support in third figure it can be adjusted to decide very fine location of the workpiece these for a very fine location of workpiece there can be a uh, in third figure you can see a vertical button support which is a better arrangement due to its capacity to bear end load and there is a provision of soft clearance automatically okay so this is what the flat locator now let us see the next locator that is cylindrical locator okay here you can see a cylindrical uh, locator you can see in the figure it is used for locating components having drilled holes the cylindrical components to be located is gripped by a cylindrical locator fitted to the jig body and inserted in the drilled hole of the component the face of the jig body around the locator is undercut to provide space for swap clearance okay this is what a cylindrical locator you can see this is a locator this is work table okay now let us see the next locator that is conical locator a conical locator is used for locating the workpiece having cylindrical hole in the workpiece the workpiece is found located by supporting it over the conical locator inserted into the drilled hole of the workpiece okay you can see the conical locator is inserted in the drilled hole of the workpiece a conical locator is considered as a superior as it has a capacity to accommodate a slight variation in the hole diameter of the component without affecting the accuracy of a location now next we will see the drill bush locator the drill bush locator 
is used for holding and locating the cylindrical work uh, work pieces the bush has conical opening for locating purpose and it is sometimes screwed on the jig's body for the adjustment of height of the body so here you can see the bush locator is there and here the workpiece can be held normally the cylindrical workpieces now next we are going to see the next locator that is v locator this is quick and effective method of locating the workpiece with desired level of accuracy this is used for locating the circular and semicircular type of workpieces as you can see in the figure the main part of locating device is v shaped block which is normally fixed to the jig this locator can be of two types fixed v locator and adjustable v locator okay so here you can see the v locator it is having a v shape it is for um, locating the workpiece and for locating the circular and semicircular type of workpieces now let us see the next jack pins jack pins it may be also called as the spring pins are used to locate the workpiece whose dimensions are subjected to variation the pin is allowed to come up under under spring pressure or conversely is pressed down by the workpiece when the location of the workpiece is secured the pin is locked in this position by means of locking screw okay so to uh, this is normally used for if there is a the workpiece dimensions are subject to variation at that time these jack pins uses to vary the dimension many times this workpiece pushes the jack pin and it creates the pressure on the spring and by adjusting the dimension it can be locked by using this lock nut or over here this locking screw this locking screw uses to locate its position so here you can see there are two type of pins spring type jack pin and another is a waist type jack pin here you can see instead of the spring the wedge is used over here okay but here you can see the spring is there okay on this side spring is here here spring is vertical here the spring is horizontal and same here the lock nut is provided here lock nut is provided but along with that the locking screw is also there okay now next locator that is diamond locator diamond shaped pin should be used to constrain pivoting of the workpiece around principal locator the principal locator should be longer than diamond pin so the workpiece cannot be located and pivoted around it before engaging with diamond pin this will help in removing of the workpiece quickly if two fixed pins are provided it will not accommodate the variation in the central distance of hole this problem is avoided by using diamond pin so normally what happens if suppose we use any two fixed pins over here okay then it will not accommodate if there is variation in the central distance so to accommodate the variation in the central distance the diamond pin can be used over here okay so locating by holes in several cases work pieces are located by pre-machined that is drilled board or pierced holes such as 
you can see in figure A location by two holes where one of the pin has to be diamond shaped to accommodate tolerance, tolerance on the distance between the holes and their diameters locating by one hole locating by one hole and then external pin which presents rotation of the block okay by one hole and an external pin which presents rotation of the blank around the inner pin is indicated in figure b that is locating by one hole and here you can see the third figure that is locating by a pin and the v block also okay so now let us see locating by mandrel or plug So here, ring or disc type work pieces are conveniently located on mandrel as shown in figure. However, there may be several other ways of locating depending upon the machining condition and the requirement. So if you see over here, these normally are conveniently located mandrel or on single plug is there okay plug and mandrel is over here and this is what the locating by mandrel or plug so for these are mostly for the ring or disc type work pieces okay if the workpieces are ring type or this type of pieces then they are conveniently located on this mandrel and on the plug so let us see once again what we have seen today okay so initially today we have seen the locating devices and also the principal rules of locating in jigs and fixture also we have seen the possible degrees of freedom of solid body and we have seen one of the blocks example that is six point location of rectangular block where we have used a three to one pins okay to prevent its nine degrees of freedom then we have seen some basic principles or rules of location then we have, we have started the locators types first we have seen the flat locators second we have seen the cylindrical locators third conical locator next drill bush locator next v locator next jack pins then diamond locators also along with that we have seen the locating the workpiece locating okay by the holes okay because in several many cases workpieces are located by pre-machined hole which is already drilled or bored so we have seen the locating by holes and uh, last we have seen the locating of ring or disc type of pieces on mandrel or plug okay so in such a way we have seen the different type of locators now today we are going to stop over here in next video we will see, see the clamping principles of clamping different clamps okay so today we are going to stop over here thank you